On this video, I'm going to explore how e-bikes affect the carbon footprint. Stay tuned. Before I go into the details, please do not hit the subscribe button yet until you have viewed the total video so that you'll know if you want more videos like this from me. If you like something you see, just touch the thumbs up like button and wait on the subscribe button until the end. I will remind you then. In comparison to other modes of modern transportation like cars, trucks, and even motorcycles, electric bikes have a minimum carbon footprint. 21 to 22 grams of CO2 per kilometer travel. For example, pedaling a traditional bike yields only one gram reduction in carbon monoxide emissions, or 21 grams total per kilogram, according to the European Cycle Federation. Approximately 101 grams of CO2 are produced per kilogram by public transportation buses. Over 271 grams of CO2 are produced by passenger cars per kilogram. E-biking is a very effective strategy when it comes to reducing overall carbon footprint by up to 25%. Additionally, researchers from the European Cycling Federation and other industry groups have factored in e-bikes' direct contribution to greenhouse gases, such as environmental friendliness of the materials, for example, rubber tires, aluminum frames, and extra calories consumed by the riders. Even with these additional considerations, e-biking leaves a virtual negligible carbon footprint. Since fossil fuels still account for 64% of U.S. electricity use, even small reductions are significant stock towards more suitable energy models. Through e-bike infrastructure and social measures, the U.S. can decrease dependence on fossil fuels and contribute to social, economic, and environmental goals set by U.S. Department of Energy by 2025, including American consumers will save over $1.7 in fuel costs reduce imports of fossil fuels that fluctuate in price having current imports from OPEC countries, limit our participation in price shock controls impounded by players in the modern fossil fuel market. In a four-mile e-bike trip, up to 15 pounds of pollutants are prevented from entering the air. Many people and the planet benefit from improved air quality, including reduction of complication related to asthma, allergies, and other respiratory irritants. Mental functions, memory, and focus are improved. The quality of sleep was improved as a result having a stronger immune system. There are a variety of holistic wellness makers as well. Even a modest amount of e-bike riding can help your wallet save a lot of money. Cars and e-bikes have the same dollar per dollar, year per year cost of ownership according to the latest industry data. 
The average annual cost of owning a four-door passenger car today is $9,761. This sum can be broken down into these primary yearly costs. The average car payment is $3,975 per year. $2,109 per year for gas and oil and costs associated with the vehicle is another $3,677 per year. E-bike owners cost a fraction of what a car does. In some cases, as low as a few hundred dollars per year after the initial purchase. The following common expense can be used to determine your e-bike costs of ownership, especially when compared to owning a car, truck, or a motorcycle. Charging an electric battery costs four cents or four tenths of a cent to six tenths of a cent per cycle, 400 to 500 watt hours. These rates vary depending on your municipality's electric costs per kilowatt and are based on 2019 national average of 12 cents per kilowatt. The vehicle should undergo an annual maintenance check up every six months of every year when you go over 500 miles, whichever occurs first. In terms of maintenance and disposal of batteries, electric bicycle batteries and packs should last for several years until they need to be replaced. The batteries should also be disposed of properly at certified locations of retailers that accept used electronics for recycling. The cost of replacing an e-bike component and parts such as brake pads and worn tires as well are optional biking insurance. Online you'll find one of the nation's most comprehensive and advanced sections of or selections of e-bikes and you will find there is no alternative to saving the carbon footprint in terms of transportation than an e-bike or a regular bike where e-bikes have the advantage of making it easier for people to ride and thereby more people will ride because of e-bikes than those that don't have power assist. As promised, here's the point where you can subscribe, add comments or questions, and hit the bell to be reminded next time I have a, a new download. And before you leave, check out this video.